All right, welcome to the commentary for the sibling rivalry sketch. Uh, this was a sketch I shot in college, and you can tell because I'm still using the default fonts on Final Cut rather than using Futura, as I always use nowadays, in homage to a certain DeLorean trilogy. That's a genre, DeLorean trilogies. So yes, uh, I made this in college. This was the final project for my uh, digital production class where we had to incorporate uh, various things we learned over the course, both in terms of... Uh, production and post-production so this is clearly not a real bar this is actually a counter near the entrance to the uh student center building on our campus and look how skinny i am dear lord was i ever that skinny so this is my dear friend chris putnam playing the part of luigi uh i bought the mario and luigi hats on ebay bought the overalls at walmart and kept the tags on them so i could return them uh day after we shot and the mustaches are gaffer's tape that we just smacked on their faces, so there you go. So this was a vague sketch idea I had had for uh, quite some time. Uh, what finally uh, pushed it over into actually writing a draft of it was uh, my uh, roommate the semester before had his SNES and... Uh, he had Super Mario RPG, so one week I just finally sat down and played through all of Super Mario RPG for the first time, beat the game, and in the uh, little credit sequence, Luigi, who has not shown up in the game before, is leading a parade for Mario. So uh, that was the defining point of Luigi's jealousy for Mario. And uh, I wrote a script, and Nick took a pass at it, which mostly contributed... Uh, adding the punchline, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but then I just corralled my friends into doing this. Uh, in addition to all the friends on camera, I had some friends behind camera. Uh, Brad was the director of photography. He was a friend of ours. Uh, my friend Sammy held the boom mic for part of it. And uh, Vicky, who you saw as the waitress, her little sister Kristen, who was visiting campus, held the uh, boom mic for other parts of it. And this was my uh, then-current roommate, and also dear friend and frequent collaborator, Mike Ortiz, as Mario. Uh, Mike later married Vicky, uh, and Chris later married Kat, who's uh, sitting at the table uh, over by the wall uh, there with uh, Kyle and Steve, other friends, and there's my friend Holly. And actually, everybody in this video except me is married now. Um, <laughs> Chris and Kat are married to each other, Mike and Vicky are married to each other, everyone else is married to people who aren't in this video, but uh, I am the lone single person left. So if you're looking to love, come to one of my shoots, you'll find it eventually. Kat grabbing the wine glass there uh, was an ad lib on her part, and it always gets the biggest laugh when we show this. Uh, the fire flower is a paper plate colored in, uh, uh, taped to a branch we found. This of course is all the green screen stuff, which proved challenging with Luigi's green. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, the beer were IBC root beer bottles, the white wine was apple juice. And originally, this sketch just, my, my first draft just ended with uh, Luigi getting hit by the Koopa shell, which seemed a little too dark. I didn't want to imply Luigi died. So then it just ended with Mario uh, carrying Luigi off to the hospital, which somehow was even darker. So Nick came up with the Flaming Shots punchline, which saved the day, and that's why he gets a co-writer credit. So, who wants flaming shots? I also love Vicky's little smile there. <laughs> so yeah, this was my junior year of college, with working with some dear friends. It was super fun to do. We shot it in two hours, and I think I stayed up until about 3 or 4 a.m. editing the first cut of it afterwards. I was on such an adrenaline rush. Uh, it was so much fun to work with such dear friends, do such a fun thing. Uh, I look forward to working with these friends again in the future. I don't know when it'll be, but in the meantime, we have the memories. That's what Throwback Thursday is all about, Charlie Brown.